Hello, hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today, people? Hello, hello. How are you doing? Hmm? Pretty good. Perfect. That's good to know. Thank you. Thank you so much. And welcome, welcome everybody for today's video conference. I really appreciate your presence here in the class. It's good to greet you one more time. Let's see, I see some people already connected and that's really nice. More people still connecting, that's perfect. Just as a reminder, please, please, please. I need your collaboration with the cameras, please. If that is not too much to ask, thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, people for today, we have uh, some information, you know, really useful information about the course. And we continue learning and checking on some information as of interest of in our learning process. For today, people, we check on some info, but before we get into the main part of the class where we have the practice, let me first check on attendance. Then I have some feedback to you about uh, about the information for the platform, and then we may get a start. Uh, we may start getting information about the class. <clears throat> Let me see. Just give me a second. So we can get ready. Ready, ready, ready. Some more people connected. That's excellent. All right, let me check on attendance at this moment. Remember, when you listen to your name, please make a verbal confirmation that you are part of this video conference. Let's start. Uh, Alberto Enrique? Present. Thank you, mister. Let's continue. Ana Noemi? Present, teacher. Nice. Uh, Brian Isaac? Present. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Fernando? Present. Thank you. Carlos Cariberto. Present teacher. Nice, nice. Uh, Carlos Manuel. Present. Excellent. Cesar Alejandro. Present. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Claudia Lisette. Claudia Lisette López. <coughs> Probably not yet. I move on. Cristian Gerardo. Present. Damaris Mabel. Damaris Mabel. I probably not yet. I continue. Eliane Liberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Stephanie Hissel. Present. Thank you so much. Fatima Elizabeth. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Gabriela Eunice. Present teacher. Nice. Uh, Harrison Antonio. Mr. Harrison Antonio. I'm not yet. I continue. Ingrid Jamilet. Present. Excellent. Jose Samuel. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Marcos Javier. Present teacher. Nice. Uh, Maria de Los Angeles. Present teacher. All right, thank you so much. Let's see, Maria de Los Angeles. And then hey, I teacher, have... soy de Maria Jacobo. Este, me estaba costando, <coughs> me estaba costando un poquito conectarme por el internet. No sé All si right. me puede agregar ahí en, a la lista, perdón. Claro, no problem. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Let's continue. Uh, Maria Magdalena. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Let me see. Let's see. All right, then I have uh, Marvin Raimundo. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Oscar Armando. Oh, present teacher. <clears throat> thank you. Uh, Gustavo Garcia. Present. Excellent. Uh, Jancy Saray. Present. 
Nice, 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 nice. Uh, Jamie Rosibel. Present teacher. Thank you. And I have Jennifer Yesenia. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Thank you so much, people, for your confirmation about your presence in the BD conference. It's really nice to have you here and, you know, to continue practicing on some information. Let me see. I just want to give you some feedback about the platform. Remember, for today, the objective was to complete section one, section two, right? That is what we have to do, section one, section two. That's all for this week. And I can see that many of you already have uh, already have achieved that one, so that's really nice. Actually, let's see. I'm just missing on Fatima Elizabeth. Si la información que veo en la plataforma en el momento, me imagino que estamos ya bien actualizados. Eh, Fatima Elizabeth, me le hace falta la sección número dos. Así que pedirle su colaboración para que la finalicemos este día, por favor. Igual Gerson Antonio, veo que todavía no se ha iniciado la sección 2, así que igualmente le pido su colaboración para poder cumplir con este con esta parte del requisito, ¿verdad? El progreso que vamos teniendo. Vamos a ver de ahí igualmente con Marvin Raimundo, Marvin, no sé si ha tenido algún problema con la plataforma Marvin, eh, quisiera escucharle. Hello, hello Marvin. Hola, teacher. No, no he tenido ningún problema. Este, este día me voy a actualizar lo que tengo pendiente. Ok, perfecto. Me llega, me llega. Sí, porque ahí tenemos contenido pendiente y recuérdese que ahora es el, el día que se nos ha indicado para completar. Y ahí los demás veo que ya hemos progresado, así que les agradezco mucho. Y nada más hacerles el recordatorio que es, necesitamos tener, en este caso, un 80 de calificación como mínimo. Veo algunos que ya completaron sección 1, sección 2, pero en la sección 1 tienen 67 eh, puntos, no tenemos eh, los 80 como mínimo. Entonces nada más pedirles su colaboración para que puedan ahí tal vez tomarse el tiempo de realizar los ejercicios que necesitan cambio y pues ahí obtener una nota pues más alta, de preferencia el 100, ¿verdad? Porque no, si es posible, pero si no, por lo menos un 80% para ir pues progresando. Muchas gracias a todos por haber tomado a bien pues eh, la indicación de cumplir con la plataforma. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's get started, people. Today we have some really nice information as I, I mentioned. Yes, Ms. Damaris, ya le anoté. Muchas gracias. Let's continue. Uh, check on this one. Uh, for today, we have session number four. And in that case, we have, we continue working on the section like what's the matter, right? What's the matter? And for today, we emphasize on information on helpful advice and we check on information on imperatives. That is what we are going to be checking. If you remember yesterday, what vocabulary word did we learn yesterday? I want to listen to you. Volunteers, what vocabulary do you remember? Backache. Backache, flu, e rake, uh -huh. e -rake uh -huh. headache, headache, stomach cake, stomach cake. Mm -hmm. The cold and um, elbow, oh, the flu, uh -huh. fever, the flu, fever, uh, the flu, half, uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. prescription, yes, prescription, right? That is the doctor's, the doctor's recommendation, the prescription. Oh, perfect, perfect. That's nice. Thank you. Yesterday, we were talking about probably something that can affect our health, right? Something that when you don't feel healthy, you don't feel well, right? A fever, a cold, a cough, <coughs> and something like that, you are not 100% well. And today, we are going to check on how to give helpful advice. But before on that one, let's work on some preparation as vocabulary about common remedies. I will show you a short picture and I need your help to tell me what the vocabulary word is for the picture. Take a look at this one, talking about common re remedies. Remember when you feel bad, tell me people, what's this? Uh -huh. 
How do you say that one? Estamos bien. En la idea es correcta, ¿verdad? Pero how do you say that one? Medicine. 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 medicine is in general, right? Medicine is in general. ¿verdad? Si decimos medicina, es entre uf, todo lo que conocemos nosotros para eh, restablecer nuestra salud. Pero en específico, in, in, for this one, in specific, for this we can say cough syrup. Oh, right? syrup. Cough syrup. El syrup sería un jarabe. Igual cuando usted toma sus pancakes, si usted ve la botellita en algunos, si viene en inglés, le dice syrup, right? Maple syrup, el jarabe de maple o de miel, lo que sea que, que le incluya. But in this case, we can say cough syrup. You know, when you're, <coughs> hey, drink some cough syrup, right? Es como una eh, vocabulario que luego vamos a poner en práctica. Right? Cough syrup. Listen and repeat after me, please. Cough syrup. Cough syrup. All right. Thank you, thank you. What about on this one? Check on the picture, Whoa. people. What is it? All pills. Aspirin. 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 Pills. Aspirin. All right. All, mm -hmm. yeah, All right. Thank you so much. It could be possible. Let's see on this one. All right. It could be possible. Acepto sus opciones porque no tenemos mayor etiqueta y pudiera ser una aspirin. ¿Por qué no? Okay. Or pills, si llamamos el término del tipo de la presentación, es una pastilla, pill. Pero acá, pues tenemos en es pill, P-I-L-L, -L, right? P-I-L-L, -L, talking about the spelling. But in this context, we have some specific for call medicine, right? Remember the call, cuando se está resfriado, medicina para un resfriado, right? That is, that is what we have. Fantastic. Check on this one. What's that? It's for sinus. Uh, it's for for that one, right? When you when you are uh, you have a runny nose or something like that, or you feel like the flu or a cold. In this case, we call nasal spray. Nasal spray. Check on that one. Nasal spray. Listen and repeat after me, please. Nasal spray. Nasal spray. Nasal spray. Nasal spray. Thank you. Uh, let, let's continue. I have more for you. Check on this one. What is it? Pepto bismol. <laughs> <laughs> we go for the brand, right? Quizás la, la marca se nos viene rapidito a veces. Nosotros el pet, no, no. Yeah. It's for stomach cakes. Yeah, for sure. Diarrhea medicine. For, uh, for, for diarrhea, it's possible, right? Medicine. It might be possible. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. In this one, let's work on this one, right? One of the functions is like this one. Antacid. Antacid, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. Un antiácido, ¿verdad? Tal vez cuando usted se siente malo de, de su estómago y no la digestión y todo eso. Pudiera ser. Antacid. Listen and repeat after me. Antacid. 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 Thank you. Antacid. Thank you. Perfect. Let's continue. Check on this one. What is it? Tetromelta. Mm -hmm. Tea. Tea. It's tea. Correct. Correct. But what type of tea? Tetromel. Tetromel. <clears throat> In this one, you say chamomile. Chamomile tea. Uh, chamomile, sorry. Mm -hmm. Chamomile. 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 That's perfect. Chamomile. What is it used for? For the flu? For uh, the cough? For the flu, for the cough? Mm -hmm. Chamomile tea. Sure. Uh, Tell me. Mm -hmm. es, con, es con té. Chamomile. Camo. Chamomile. Ca uh, uh, Camo. Right? Chamomile. Uh -huh. Chamomile. Chamomile. Chamomile tea. Mm -hmm. Okay, gracias. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. My pleasure, Mr. And then let's see. Uh, we have the next one. Check on this one. A what group? is it? A uh, group? Mm -hmm. All right, that's fine. You see, eye drops, right? That is for the eye, right? Eye drops. Mm -hmm. Let's continue on this one. Check on that picture. What is it? Ice. <laughs> ice? Yeah, yeah, it's correct. It's part of the word. But where ice is it? bag. Ah, oh. 
Exactly. In this case, we can call ice pack, como un paquete de hielo, si lo traducimos tan literal, pero puede ser en una bolsita, ¿verdad? Para, uh, as you mentioned, when you hit yourself, right, and something hurts, right? For you the can, muscle. You can, for the muscles, for relaxing, right? Relaxing the muscles, that's correct. Mm -hmm. And the last one in this case, check on this one. What is it? Soap. You can soap. Soap. That's correct. In that case, that's chicken soup, right? When is it useful, the chicken soup? In the cold or flu. The, the flu. Mm -hmm. cold. Right. For the cold, for the flu, right? For the stomach, uh, then of the pain. It could be possible, right? It could be possible. Thank you. Thank you so much. And this one, people, is just some information about common remedies when you feel bad, right? When you imagine you have like a back backache, probably you can apply some ice packs or something like that. So you will have some ideas on what we can recommend. Check on this one. Besides this one, to give, uh, to give ideas and to provide instructions, we can make use of imperatives, right? And a short description of imperatives is this one. And I will ask on Anna Noemi if you can help me to read the information on the screen, please. Thank you. In Spain. Yeah, yes. to read. No, no, to read. To read, literally uh, read the information. Read it. Imperatives. Mm -hmm. Are there any instruction, order, or recommendation to a person or group of people? That's correct. Thank you so much. That is what we what uh what imperatives are. They help us to give instructions orders, or sometimes recommendations. For example, I can give a recommendation like this using an imperative. Bring some pills, right? That is one recommendation or one instruction to a person or to a group of people. Check on the other, rest, right? Relax, rest for two days. Other example, apply. Apply some eye drops, right? Apply some eye drops. And finally, we can say other example, put an ice pack in the area, right? Put, right? Put an ice pack como in the poner. area. Poner. Exactly. Literalmente es como poner. Mm -hmm. The other we have apply, aplicar, ¿verdad? El otro rest, descansar for two days if you feel bad. And the other drink, right? Tomar. Drink some pills. But before we move on on this one, I have some question. What do you see different in this type of sentences in comparison to the other that you know? ¿Qué ven de diferente ustedes en los ejemplos que yo he puesto con cualquier tipo de oración que usted haya estudiado con anterioridad? ¿Qué ve de diferente? ¿Qué ve extra? ¿Qué ve que le hace falta? ¿O qué comentario tiene? No, llamo un sujeto, teacher. Mm, all right, all right, all right. And that's actually the difference in this one. For imperatives, it is not necessary to include a subject. Why? Because it is an instruction. And as I mean, as, as in the description, it's something direct, right? You talk to a person or to a group of people. For that reason, it's not necessary to include a subject. We don't say he, she, it, because in that case, we report information. Vea que si incluimos un sujeto y menciono a he, she, it, or, or, or they, es como que yo estoy reportando información de alguien. Como que yo le digo a usted, yo le cuento de él, yo le cuento de ella, o yo le cuento de un grupo de personas a usted. Pero acá, la instrucción es directa. La instrucción puede ser comunicación uno a uno, ¿verdad? Yo hablo con una sola persona y le digo qué debe hacer, ¿ok? Así como en la casa, eh, eh, nuestras madres bellas en el Día de las Madres siempre nos dicen, va, levanta las cosas, lava la ropa, arregla la cama. Esas son instrucciones que se nos dan en el español, es válido, ¿verdad? Y en el inglés igualmente. Vea que eh, la particularidad de estas y de los imperativos es que inician siempre con el verbo, no es necesario el sujeto. Las instrucciones igualmente o los imperativos pueden utilizarse para una persona que da instrucción a un grupo de personas y tal es el escenario como nosotros en clase. 
yo en la clase les doy instrucciones. Listen, yo les digo, escuchen. No les digo, you listen, no les pongo nunca el sujeto, sino que es la instrucción directa. Listen and repeat. Right? Listen and repeat. Escucha y repeat. De una vez yo doy una instrucción sin necesidad de poner el sujeto porque son imperativos. Para que vea que se puede dar instrucción a solo una persona o a un grupo de personas, así como yo me dirijo a ustedes. In, in any context, in this one, just imagine that the person is the doctor and the doctor tells you, okay, oh my goodness, right? After checking, okay, drink some pills, rest for today, supply some eye drops, put a nice pack in the area. And the person is giving just, is just giving you instructions on what to do. In this case, to better your health. Ve que ahí damos las instrucciones y eso aplica en cualquier contexto, ¿verdad? En el contexto de cómo hacer algo también se puede utilizar, ¿verdad? Si yo le doy como instrucciones o un paso a paso de cómo realizar un proceso, se utilizan imperativos eh, para dar una orden también, ¿verdad? Imagínese que usted va corriendo y viene por decir, ¡Ey, stop! ¡Pare! Ya se queda quieto. Una instrucción en cualquier contexto, los imperativos son muy útiles eh, para dar todo... Tienen esta función, ¿verdad? Eh, recomendaciones, instrucciones y órdenes. Uh, questions at this moment about this topic? Questions, questions? Yes, Creo. Mm -hmm. No questions at this moment? No? No question. All right, perfect. I see a little bit scared. Le veo algo asustado. ¿Qué les ha pasado, mucha? Relax, come on, relax. You know, we are learning and we're just having fun at the same time. Thank you so much. All right, let's see on this one. Let's put this, let's put this into practice. For example, imagine the question about yesterday, what's the matter? Because you are asking about the problem of the person, right? Remember yesterday we practiced. Hey, what was the other question we practiced? Let's see if you remember. What is the other question we practiced yesterday? How do you feel today? How, excellent. How oh, do you feel, God. right? How do you feel today? Uh, and you, we can respond, I feel. What are, what are the adjectives? Lo siento. Uh -huh. I'm cold. Horrible. 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 Awful. 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 Right? Horrible. Horrible. Miserable. Hor miserable. Horrible. Nasty. Uh -huh. All right. Yes. All right, thank you so much. That's fine. In that question, we respond, right? I feel horrible, terrible, fantastic, excellent, great, you know, different adjectives. And then we accompany the question like, what's the matter? Like, what's the problem? And then we can say, I have a cold, I have the flu, I have, uh, I have a fever, I have a sore throat, I have a backache. We report what the problem is. After this one, We can say, I know, for example, right? To continue a conversation. I know what you have to do. Esa es una frase que pudiéramos incluir, ¿verdad? Como para continuar la idea. Alguien me, yo le pregunté, what's the matter? Como, ¿qué tenés o qué te pasa? Hey, me duele la espalda, I have a backache. I know what you have to do, ¿verdad? Porque yo soy el experto, ¿eh? yo sé que, qué es lo que tenés que hacer. And in this case, we can incorporate some instructions, right? For example, for this one, right? Drink much fluids, para que tome muchos líquidos, buy a cough syrup. En el supuesto de que la persona diga que está algo enfermo de la tos o de la gripe, ¿verdad? Drink much fluids, buy a cough syrup. Pero ve acá cómo encadenamos lo que ya aprendimos ayer y le agregamos un elemento nuevo que serían los imperativos para dar instrucciones acerca de qué hacer en diferentes escenarios que la persona nos, no, no, nos, nos reporte. I have a stomachache. Y ya con el vocabulario que vimos al inicio, I have a stomachache. Ok, you have to take some antacid, right? Ah, ok, perfect. Hey, oh, I have a sore throat. Ah, drink some chamomile, uh, chamomile tea, right? Drink some chamomile tea, right? We incorporate the vocabulary to give recommendations about what the person has. Let's do a practice. As a group practice, we work on this one. As you may see on the screen, I have a spinning wheel at this moment, right? I will spin, spin the wheel, and we work together, and I will ask your collaboration to give me some recommendations, right? You are the doctors, I am the patient, 
right? Let's spin this one, right? I'll spin this for you. <clears throat> and I stop. Now you look here, vamos a parar. All right, I have, let's see, this is more obvious, right? All right, perfect. People tell me, ask me the first question. Vamos a hacer, vamos a simular la conversación de ayer, pero ahora le vamos a incorporar en lo último es. Ustedes son los doctores. Pregúntenme primero cómo me siento, por favor. Mm -hmm. What's the matter? No, What's the ¿cómo matter? me siento? How do you feel? How do you, How do you feel, feel today? How do you feel today? I feel miserable. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? I have a stomachache and I vomit a lot. Oh, well, you have a I, strong... I know, I know what you have to do. Ah, thank you. I As know what you have... have to do. Excellent. Tell me, please. Okay. I need your help. ¿Qué tengo que hacer? Drink more. Drink and taste. Drink and taste. Drink and taste. And rest too much in your home. Rest. <laughs> Oh, that's a good recommendation. What else? What else? Let me see. I will ask select some people. Carlos Descansar. Manuel. Ah, to rest, right? Rest. Descansar, rest. Thank you. Carlos rest. Manuel, tell me, what do I have to do, mister? I need your help. I'm dying. Please. <clears throat> Check on the microphone, please. Thank you. Um... Uh, drink uh, antiacid. Antacid. 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 Oh. All right. Thank you, Carlos. That's a good recommendation. Let me see. Uh, Miss Maria Magdalena, I have a problem, right? You know, I have in this uh, in this moment. Oh, let's work on the example. I have the flu. Miss Maria Magdalena, tell me, what do I have to do? Um, no que era el flu. Flu, ah, two, ah, two, right. oh, I have the flu, yeah. Okay, um, buy nasal spray. Mm -hmm. All right, and what else? Um, no sé. <laughs> no sé. Probably some aspirin. Uh, no, aspirin. Drink some pills, like in general. En general, podríamos decir, tome pastillas. Drink or take. Take some pills. It's possible. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's, let's change the scenario at this moment, right? I spin the wheel. Right? And I have some recommendation. Let's do it one more time, please. All right? Let's do it one more time. Uh, ask me, please, how, how I feel, right? How do you how feel, do you feel today? today? Uh, I feel horrible today. No. What's the matter? What's the matter? Oh, uh, you know, I have a toothache. I have a I know toothache. I, I know I have. I know what you I have to do. I know what you have to do. Tell me, please, I need your help. First, call drink the dentist. Pill. <laughs> call the dentist, drink yes. some pill, uh-huh. Uh, don't, don't exercise too much. All right, thank you. Uh, what else, don't, people? Don't, don't drink ice cream or uh, don't, don't or, eat ice cream, all right. Or, or fluid cups. Mm -hmm. call, call fluids, uh-huh. Put some ice in your... Uh, in the tooth. <laughs> Or in, or in the, in no, the no, cheek, no, no. right? In the cheek, in the cheek on the, the cheek, in the cheek. All right. on the all cheek. All right, interesting. Visit a dentist. Not Visit a dentist, it. thank you. Not eat any candy. All right, don't eat, oh, that's fine. And in that case, we can incorporate some negative instructions as well. Un punto muy válido, y muchas gracias por el comentario, podemos incluir oraciones en negativo para decir, en este caso, que no se debe hacer, que igualmente es una instrucción, pero en algo negativo. Para las negativas, basta con ponerle siempre el auxiliar don't y después el verbo. Por ejemplo, me decía Ana Jansi, don't eat, no coma, don't. Vamos a utilizar siempre el, el auxiliar 
don't. Recuérdense que siempre es una conversación directa, entonces nos, nos vamos siempre con el mismo auxiliar, don't. No me, vaya a decir, no me vaya a decir solo not, porque a veces nosotros decimos solo not, como buscándole un equivalente al español, ¿verdad? Como no, ¿cómo digo no? Not. Entonces a veces dice, decimos nosotros not eat, uh -uh, not, not, don't, right? El auxiliar que usted ya conoce. Don't eat, right? Don't jump, right? Don't practice sports, right? Tal vez recomendaciones, algo que no se debe hacer, porque, because I have a toothache, right? Thank you. Let's go over quick on this one. I have other problem, right? Ah, in this one, one more time, the last time for the group practice. Vamos a hacer la última. Lo estamos haciendo porque luego vamos a ir a las salas y requiero que lo haga casi similar como yo lo estoy haciendo. Por eso lo estamos dramatizando para que agarremos la idea. Okay? Now, ask me please. Hágame la primera pregunta que ya conocemos. How do you feel today? How do you feel today? I feel, today? I feel thank you, thank you. I feel awful today. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? I have an earache. I have an earache. I know how to I know what the ball. I know what you have to do. I, Thank I you. know how you can do too. All right. I know what you have to do, right? I, I know, know what you what have, you I have know to do. I know what you have to do. I know what you have to do. Thank you. Tell me, please. Tell me. I, I need your help. Have Ah, put a nice pack. Put, put a nice pack. El eh, verbo nos hacía falta. Put, put a nice pack. Mm -hmm. All the other rain are along it. No sé cómo se dice. Put uh, two drops <laughs> of, uh, of alcohol. <laughs> drops of alcohol. Ear. Ah, interesting. All right. That's don't good. Don't go to the school. <laughs> don't, oh, thank you. Tell me, don't work. Or the work. Or the work. Yes, don't. Ahora libre, ahora libre. No, 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 no. Pay no, vacation. No. <laughs> Pay off, that's perfect. Thank you. Pay vacation, right? And Thank don't you. worry, don't worry too much. Don't worry too much, like relax. All right. Thank you. Christian Gerardo, tell me for an earache, I need your help. What do I have to do? Put a nice, a nice pack in mm -hmm. the area. All right, put a nice pack in the area. All right, thank you. I appreciate your help. Thank you. Let me see on one more person to express ideas. Uh, tell me, Miss Claudia Lisette, for an earache, what do I have to do? Repeat, teacher. Yeah, no problem. We continue with the same uh, health situation, right? I have an earache. Right? It's here in, in, in red. An earache. Tengo dolor de oído, right? An earache. Tell me what, what can I do? ¿Qué puedo hacer? I can help you. Si, si gusta y tiene una idea, dígamelo en español y con todo gusto yo le ayudo a, a expresarlo en inglés. No problem. Don't worry. Eh, bueno, hay gotitas para los oídos también. Mm -hmm. All right. Entonces pudiéramos decir en este caso put or apply. Podemos ocupar el verbo apply, aplicar. Apply Ear drops. Recuerden que los otros eran eye, eye drops. Drops quiere decir gotas. Y dependiendo el, el, el para qué sea, si como era para los ojos, decíamos eye drops. En este caso, como no va a ser para los ojos, obviamente, pudiéramos decir ear drops. Right? Apply ear drops. Apply ear drops. Apply All right. Oh, it's glycerin. It's possible, right? Glycerin sometimes helps. All right, thank you so much. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, people, it's time for individual practice. After checking vocabulary, after knowing how to use the structure, and also at this moment, after you know uh, checking on vocabulary and, and information and model, let's begin on the practice. You will do something different. You are going to take turns in the group. We will work in groups of five you are going to ask similar to the practice you did with me. You choose a person and all of you ask the question to that person in specific, right? 
así como lo hicieron conmigo. Una persona va a ser el paciente y los otros van a ser cuatro personas, ya sean doctores o alguien que conoce qué hacer. Los cuatro, por cuestión de práctica, me le formulan la primera pregunta. How do you feel today? Justo como lo hicieron conmigo. ¿okay? How do you feel today? La persona le va a responder. I feel y ocupe un adjetivo. Después, otra vez los cuatro le preguntan a esta persona. What's the matter? Así justo como lo hicimos conmigo. What's the matter? Y la persona reporta una enfermedad o algo que esté padeciendo. I have a toothache. I have a knee rake. I have, I have the flu. Luego de esa información, eh, todos me ayudan a reportarle y cada uno va a dar un consejo de qué se debe hacer o qué no se debe hacer ahora que ya lo conocemos. ¿Ok? Si la persona le dice, I have a, back, a backache, entonces usted comienza, alguien comienza, ahí tomen turno. Uh, put, some, put an ice pack, right? Ok. Bring some pills. Rest. Go to the doctor. Dele. Todos van a dar recomendaciones. Cuando finalicen con eso, Vamos a, a retomar otra vez la, la, la ronda, por decirle así. Y otra persona va a ser como el paciente. De ahí los otros cuatro igualmente le preguntan. Y volvemos. ¿okay? Hey, how do you feel? La persona responde, what's the matter? Y después todos dan recomendaciones. Así todos estamos participando activamente. Jansi, Saray, tell me. Y para decirle, el paciente tiene. En ese caso, the patient has. Pero en el contexto que estamos haciendo, eh, vamos a tratar de seguir siempre con la estructura como lo, lo estamos haciendo conmigo, ¿verdad? Porque va a ser directa la información, ¿verdad? No vamos a recordar como el paciente tiene eso, no, sino que tranquilos. Ahí vamos a tratar de hacerlo y yo les voy a visitar para asistirles si es requerido. Any other question before we start? All right. Okay, people, you're my doctors, you're my experts at this moment, all right? So let's get started. And Nice, thank you so much. Evitar el video antes de subir. No es la pregunta, empieza con la primera. How do you feel today? Es la primera pregunta, ¿no? Sí. 
você, aí se, se apoia. La segunda pregunta. ¿Con quién está hablando? Oscar? Con José Samuel. Me dijo. Oh. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. hello. Just, just to clarify on this one. Who's the patient? ¿Quién es el que va a tener el rol como de paciente primero? Hey. Oscar. No, Oscar, ok. Remember all of you need to ask him. Recuérdense que la práctica es que todos le pregunten a él. How do you feel? La conversación va a ser siempre grupal, no uno a uno, ¿verdad? Porque si no, los demás solo estamos escuchando y no participamos. Entonces, todos le preguntan a Oscar, how do you feel? Si gusten, es como, vaya, uno, dos, tres y pum, damos la pregunta a todos para practicar. How do you feel today? Oscar le responde. Después, igualmente, todos en conjunto le preguntan, what's the matter? Entonces, él le va a decir qué problema tiene. Y ya luego de ahí, si al, van alternando, uno, digamos, inicia Javier con una primera recomendación. Después Brian, después José y después Marvin. Ah, y ahí terminamos la primera ronda. Después el otro, digamos, sea Brian, es el paciente. Todos le preguntan a Brian, how do you feel today? Brian responde y así sucesivamente. Hagámoslo ahorita con, con Oscar, ¿ok? Le voy a ayudar yo. Al contar tres, vamos con la primera pregunta. How do you feel today? Y Oscar, listo para responderlos. Three, two, one, question. How do you feel, How do you feel, you feel today? today? Uh -huh. I feel sick. I feel sick. All right. Second question. One, two, and three. What's, What's the matter? What's the matter? matter? What's the matter? I have sore head. Sore, sore throat. I have dolor de garganta. Sore eyes. Uh, which sore eyes. Uh, sore, sore eyes. Sore eyes. Sore okay. Eyes. Dolor de ojos. Sore eyes. All right. Uh, Marvin, what's the recommendation for Oscar? Tiene, le duele los ojos, dice, sore eyes. I know what you have to do. Mm -hmm. uh, visit a doctor. All right, visit a doctor. Thank you. Jose Samuel. Uh, don't watch TV. Don't watch TV. Good recommendation, mister. Good recommendation. Uh, Brian. <clears throat> Apply eye drops. Apply? Apply eye drops. Uh -huh. Thank you. Marcos uh, Javier, final recommendation. <laughs> Dígame, si no, si gusta, tiene una idea, um, yo le ayudo para transformarla, no se preocupe. Um, 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 ponerse un gotario en el ojo. Uh, the same. Uh, uh, apply uh, eye drops. Apply eye drops. Apply eye drops. Mm -hmm. eye drops. Mm -hmm. Okay. But repeat it, please. Pero repítame la porfa, Marcos, para escucharle también. Ajá, ajá. Ajá, Me puede repetir, por favor. Sí, no hay problema. Tendríamos que decirle apply eye drops. Apply eye drops. All right. Thank you. Perfect. And we finish the first round. Y con eso finalizamos la primera ronda. Ahora, ¿quién va a ser el, el, el que está padeciendo algo? ¿Algún voluntario? Yo, yo. Right, let's go. Vamos con Brian, ¿verdad? Con Brian. Igualmente, uh -huh. en este caso, Marvin, José Samuel, Oscar y Marcos le preguntan. Pónganse de acuerdo. Si quieren, cuenten. No hay ningún problema. ¿Ok? Y ya le preguntan. How do you feel? Brian responde. What's the matter? Él les dice que tiene. Y de ahí, alternado, van dando recomendaciones. ¿Ok? Let's continue working. ¿va? Ahora que ya agarramos un poco la dinámica, les invito a seguir practicando. Y yo visito a los demás. Y continúen haciendo un muy buen trabajo. Thank you. Okay. What's the matter? I have a sore throat. Sore throat. Okay. I know. I know what you have to do. Please tell me. A ver, Claudia, please recommendation for Ingrid. <laughs> Use a cool compress. Ah, oh, cool compress. Okay. Cool compress, mm -hmm. okay. Carlos, what the other recommendation for? ¿Cómo fue la que dijo que tenía? No, no la entendí bien. Dolor de garganta. Sore throat. 
Uh -huh. Sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you drink a common tea. Uh -huh. Thank you, thank you. Just as a recommendation. Recuérdese que estamos bien con la idea. Lo único que en los imperativos, recuérdese que no es necesario incluir you al inicio. Vamos desde el verbo, drink, ¿verdad? Drink chamomile tea, y de ahí estamos bien. E igualmente pueden incluir eh, recomendaciones de algo que no se debe hacer. Por ejemplo, don't drink cold liquid, ¿verdad? No tome, ¿verdad? Porque le duele la garganta, entonces no va a ser de beneficio, right? Uh, who's next? ¿Quién seguía con la recomendación? I guess Jamie, right? Si no estoy equivocado. Or did you participate, Jamie? ¿Ya dijo su recomendación para ella? No. Oh. All right, perfect. Mm -hmm. Como se dice en inglés mm -hmm. que no debe esforzar la garganta, como gritar. All right. Podríamos don't decir en ese caso, don't gritar. Podemos decir, don't scream. ¿verdad? Sería el verbo gritar. Right? O si usted gusta, tal vez, don't talk too much. No hables mucho, ¿verdad? Don't talk too much. Mm -hmm. Don't talk too much. All right, perfect. That's okay, right? Thank you, thank you. Continue working like that. I really, I am really happy with, with this group. Nicely done. Continue practicing. Remember, other person is the patient and you give recommendations. Nicely done, okay, people. Okay. Continue. Thank you, teacher. Perfect. Okay, I am the patient now. Um, who are... Sí, mi amor, es suyo. Es suyo. Uh, so how do you feel? Today, Yancy, ¿verdad? Um, I feel terrible. What's the matter, Yancy? I have um, search throat. Sorry. Sore throat. Dolor de garganta. A sore ah. throat. I know what you have to do. Mm -hmm. Drink chamomile tea. Mm -hmm. Nice. What else? ¿Qué más pueden recomendar los demás? Uh, drink or uh, syrup. Uh, syrup? Jarabe? Sí. Cold syrup. Uh -huh. Drink uh, cold. cold syrup. Ah, thank you. Thank you. And Carlos? Uh, también, también rest for today. It's valid. Rest for today. Thank you, Gustavo. Nice one. Thank you, Carlos. Drink Coca-Cola. No, no, for, for us. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Take, <laughs> take a pill. Take a pill. It's possible, right? Thank you. With Coca-Cola, you you probably develop uh, or you get worse. Me quiere <laughs> matar. Ah, pero mire cuando de repente no se le quita uno hasta esta harta hasta toma cosas heladas. Así me pasa a mí ay, de tanta medicina. Ah, no. Digo, y rápido se quita. Mágicamente, mágicamente, después de tanta medicina, ni modo, no quiso por las buenas el cuerpo, a ver si por las malas. <laughs> All right. Thank you don't, so much. Don't drink, drink ice, sería, ¿verdad? All right. Don't, don't drink, drink, uh -huh. drink mm -hmm. ice. All right. It's possible, right? Or, or cold, cold, cold drinks, ¿verdad? Bebidas eh, frías, cold drinks. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Excellent. Thank you. Continue working. Congratulations. You are doing very well. Thank you. Salían cuatro aquí en, en mi pantalla. Pero apareció alguien más. Es, es el dicho. Hello. No, me oh. Fátima dice. <risa> Fátima. Ah, sí, ah, sí Fátima dice. All right. Hello, teacher. Hello, I'm listening to you. How are you doing with the practice? Hello, hello. Everything okay in the practice? So, so we practice yes, we practice too much no not too much it's sí, never Elisa, too much Fátima, perdón Fátima dice que tiene problemas <laughs> con el internet por eso es que no se le 
Uh, All right. Oh, I understand. No problem. No problem. All right. Let's do one more practice, please. Hagamos una práctica más. Para yo escucharles, para cómo lo estamos haciendo y darles retroalimentación si es requerido. Uh, okay. Who is the patient? Uh, yo, me. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. All right, people, ask him. Ask Carlos, please. How do you feel today? I feel horrible. I feel horrible. Horrible. Mm -hmm. Next question. What's the matter? Ah, what's the matter? Thank you. Have a fever. All right, I have fever. All right, thank you. Now, people, what are the recommendations for the fever? <clears throat> oh no, what you have, have to do? Mm -hmm. uh, I take aspirin and Tylenol. <laughs> thank you. Good recommendation, Tavares. Thank you. Next person. <laughs> Rest on the bed. Rest on bed. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Next recommendation. Next, next. I'm missing Maria de Los Angeles. It's your turn, miss. What can you recommend? Uh, drink pills. Drink pills? Thank you. Thank you so much. And next person will be Miss uh, Maria Magdalena. What are the recommendations for a fever? For <clears throat> uh, Fever. Hmm? Fever. Yes. No, no record. Uh, no, una fiebre. A fever. Uh -huh. uh, take, take, uh, no, no sé cómo se dice, no, uh, toalla mojada. Take. Uh, wet, uh, let's see, a uh, wet clothes. Vamos a ir como un, como un pedazo de tela, ¿verdad? O si usted gusta decir eh, toalla, sería towel. Wet towel. Uh, take a, a wet towel. All right, all right. It's possible, right? Some people put the oh. wet towels. Gente se pone ahí los lo, lo, eh, toallas. A veces creo que en el cuello, en las axilas, creo que se pone para disque quitarse la, la fiebre, ¿verdad? O right. en la frente. O en la frente. That's valid too. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Continue practicing. I am missing, I guess, one more group and I want you just to have, uh, to ask the final questions on this. Me queda un grupo por visitar. Lo estamos haciendo muy bien. Les felicito. Y tratemos de otra persona. Igual, si ya practicaron todo, vuelvan a, pre, a practicar. No problem, right? Mencionen otro adjetivo de cómo se siente. Mencione otro, otro malestar que pueda tener. Igualmente, todos damos recomendaciones. Recuerden que pueden eh, dar recomendaciones en negativo, ¿verdad? Utilizando el don't. Por ejemplo, hey, uh, don't eat ice cream, right? Don't, don't take a shower. Por darles un ejemplo, ¿verdad? De, de pronto... Si algo no se debe hacer, también es válido decir qué es lo que no se debe hacer. Thank you so much, people. I check on the rest and we have three more minutes. Vamos a tener tres minutos más para practicar, así que creo que nos alcanza para una ronda más. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Apliqué limón en los ojos. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello, hello. Hey, people, what are you doing? ¿Qué andan haciendo ustedes, muchas? <laughs> yes, a todas las enfermedades recomiendo limonar. <laughs> Drink ah, lemon. Drink lemon. Ah, está bueno. Está bueno. El poder curativo del limón. La <laughs> vitamina C. Ah, excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, how are you doing with the practice? Did, did all of you participate? Todos participaron, todos, todos yes, participaron yes, yes. siendo yes, pacientes yes, y dando recomendaciones. Oh, yes. excellent. Ok. What recommendations did you mention? ¿Qué recomendaciones dieron? Así en general, ¿verdad? Sin hacer referencia a algún malestar, ¿qué mencionaron en clase? ¿Qué, re, qué, qué recomendaciones dieron? Apply some ice drops. All right, apply some ice drops. That, that's ice drops. That's nice. What Drink else? Some pills. Drink some pills in general, ajá. Uh -huh. 
Take aspirin. Aspirin. Uh -huh. Thank you. Harrison? Drink lemon. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep a lot. Sleep a lot. Okay, that's valid. And tell me, Harrison, from all the things we have, for which uh, illness uh, the lemonade is the best? ¿verdad? De todos los lo que practicamos de los malestares, ya que a todos escucho que recomendó limonada, díganme con cuál será más efectiva la limonada. ¿Con qué mal? Eh, eh, sería con cold. Con a cold. A cold. Uh -huh. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and Alberto, what other recommendation do you remember? Este, rest for two days. Rest for two days. Ah, that's valid. Thank you so much. All right. People, I congratulate you. You are doing nice. I'm really happy with your progress. At this moment, we return to the main room and we check on attendance and final instructions. And thank you so much, people. Nicely done. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks. All right, all right. Thank you so much, people, for this really nice time on the practice. I, I am really happy because I, I checked today all the groups and you were doing really nice in asking questions, reporting how you feel, reporting what you have, and also nicely done on recommendations. Nicely done. I, I am really happy for your progress and I hope you're happy too, right? Me alegro mucho cuando visité lo, los diferentes grupos. Hoy sí tuve la oportunidad de visitarles a todos, escucharles. Estamos haciendo las preguntas correctas, dando información correcta en, en preguntas, respuestas y en las recomendaciones. Lo hemos hecho muy bien. Thank you. So I am happy for you. Soy contento por ustedes. Espero que igual ustedes estén contentos. De decir, hey, vamos aprendiendo. Y ese es el objetivo, ¿verdad? Que usted eh, trabaje con la plataforma se llene de vocabulario, vea la, la estructura y aquí pues lo ponemos más en práctica, que ese es el objetivo que tenemos acá. Any question about the practice? ¿Alguna duda? ¿Alguna, alguna pregunta que haya surgido en la práctica? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I guess you're experts. Así que si escuchan que alguien anda ahí, mire si ven ahí a alguien, a un extranjero y ande, se siente mal, pregúntele, hey, how do you feel? Man? Tal vez le podemos reportar algo, porque no, pues no problem, right? Imagínense, la, perso la persona le dice, I feel sad, ah, y pupusas, good solution, ¿eh? ¿por qué no? Eh? Ven, recomendación, or drink la lemonade, limonada, la limonada de Gerson, horchata, horchata, all right, thank you, but that's fine, I really appreciate on your effort. Let's begin by checking an attendance at this moment, so we may go probably for the ending of this uh, session. Let's see. Uh, let's begin. Alberto Enrique Mesa. Present. Thank you. Ana Noemi. Present teacher. Nice. Uh, Brian Isaac. Present. Excellent. Thank you. Carlos Fernando. Present. Great. Uh, Carlos Heriberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Manuel. Present. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cesar Alejandro. Present teacher. Excellent. Eh, Claudia Lisset. Present teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Eh, Christian Gerardo. Present teacher. Nice. Damaris Mabel. Miss Damaris Mabel. Right. I continue. No problem. Elian Heriberto. Present, teacher. Nice, nice, nice. Stephanie Giselle? Present. Excellent. Fatima Elizabeth? Present, teacher. Excellent. Eh, Gabriela Eunice? Present. Excellent. Eh, Gerson Antonio? I'm here. Perfect. Eh, Jose Samuel? Present, teacher. Great. Marcos Javier? Present, teacher. Ah. Great. Eh, Maria de los Angeles. 
Present teacher. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. Sí, eh, teacher, este, no, yo aquí estoy, lo que pasa es que tuve problemas con el, con el internet, por eso es que me saca y me vuelve a meter, pero no es que aquí estaba. Aquí Muchas estoy gracias. Presente. Excelente. Yo, excelente. Igual yo sé que estuve en la práctica, así que no problema. Ya le marqué por aquí. Muchas gracias. Gracias por su notificación y el esfuerzo igualmente de estar pendiente de ingresar. Muchas gracias. The next person, María Magdalena. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Marvin Raimundo. Present teacher. Perfect. Oscar Armando. Mi amor. Uh -huh. Thank you, thank you. Present teacher. Eh, thank you, thank you. Gustavo García. Present. Great. Eh, Jancy Saray. Present. Uh -huh. All right. Eh, Jamie Rosibel. Present. And Jennifer Yesenia. Present teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, people, and with that, we come to an end for the first week. Congratulations and thank you so much for the effort to be here. That complete week, right? Muchas gracias. Y con esto finalizamos nuestra primera semana. Así que les felicito y les agradezco mucho por su compromiso y esfuerzo de estar acá conectados, invitándoles nuevamente a las personas que están pendientes de completar la sección 1 y sección 2, que lo puedan hacer después de clases para cumplir con ese requisito. Have a nice weekend. Relax. Sleep. Watch TV. Listen to music, right? Go to the beach, right? Go out. Drink lemonade, sí. right? Tome limonada si quiere. Right? That's a recommendation. Yes. And recover energies. And, and I hope to see you Monday with full energies. Pero verles el lunes con todas las energías como siempre y que pasen un fin de bonito. See you next time, people. Take care. See you in the next week. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, teacher. Bye, 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 teacher. Bye, 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 bye teacher. Yeah, goodbye, everybody. Thank you. That's nice. Perfect. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>